How to be psychic. Sarah Jane O'Neill is a sensitive. She claims to have psychic abilities which help her detect the presence of ghosts and spirits in a haunted location. My very first memory of a paranormal experience was when I was laying in my cot. I can't say exactly my age, but it must have been between one and two. And I remember looking up at this lady who was standing over the cot looking down at me. I mean, I can remember the clothes she was wearing. And they were obviously old style clothes, so it wasn't anyone I'd ever seen before. And I didn't realise till I got older that I'd definitely seen a spirit of some kind. When I did mention to my mum what had happened, she said that I should have told her a long time before because the other people in the family have seen the same lady, which turns out to be my great-grandmother. Sarah Jane is a founding member of ghost hunting team Soul Seekers. Together they travel the world visiting reputedly haunted locations in a quest to find evidence of ghostly goings on. Sarah Jane will often be the first to recce a building using her abilities to detect paranormal activity. The team will then use her feedback to inform where they set up their equipment. I don't actually have to do anything, I just need to walk around and it comes to me. I saw like a white flash inside this room. Right here, exactly here. It was just a split second and then it went. It can be anything from just a thought, you know, like I feel to go somewhere and I feel there's something not right about it, something that should or shouldn't be there. Sometimes it's a gut instinct. Other times I'll get tingling and feel cold, get goosebumps and see things too. You know, maybe just like a little light or a shadow or something. I've even been tapped and my hair touched and all sorts of things. There'll be something that'll indicate something's not right in that, that part of the building. Sometimes I'm like a magnet. I seem to attract when they, for some reason, ghost and spirit know who they can go to and who knows they're there. It's like, as if someone's seen a young girl coming down or running down these stairs. Everyone has the potential of being psychic. There's different kinds of psychic ability. There's clairaudient, means you can hear audient. Clairsentient is what I get more of. Sentient is going by your feelings. And there's a clairvoyant, voyant obviously seeing. They're all part of being psychic. It's just one person will be clairvoyant, another will be clairaudient. There's something down this bit, around this bit. It's like a gut feeling in your stomach. You just know. It's just, there's no doubt about it. You have a hundred percent surety that you can feel that and you know it's correct. And you must always listen to your gut instinct because it's normally always right. Isn't she cute? Yeah, she does, very cute. If you realise that you're having these things, then you can't keep blocking it out. You have to face up to reality and what you've seen and what you've heard and what you felt. The little girl that runs up and down these stairs. Could you please come down for me? I know you're there because you pulled my coat earlier. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And there are people out there that's never experienced anything in their whole life. And if I never experienced anything in my whole life, then I'd probably feel the same. But I know people out there that have been skeptic their whole life and have suddenly one day had an experience they will never forget. And it's completely changed their mind. And I would just say, try to be a little bit more open-minded because you never know what might happen to you one day.